Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony.
For people who are having doubts regarding the backseat space of the Tata Punch, I am right now inside the top end variant of the Tata Punch. From the back seat, this here is the dashboard view, and uh, this is the amount of legroom I am uh, available with. I have adjusted the driver seat for my height, which is 5'11 for reference, and I still have got really ample amount of legroom, knee room. The under thigh support is also pretty good. Uh, the fact that the back seat squab is longer than the Tata Ultras means that the back seat comfort is much better. The under thigh support is much better, and the backrest angle is also pretty good. It is slightly on the vertical side. It is not as reclined, but still the space comfort is really good. The width is also pretty good. It is almost as wide as the Tata Nexon. Uh, you can see the center passenger seat over here. The width is pretty good, and I can sit comfortably in the middle seat also because the floor over here is flat. And uh, even with me in the center, you can have pretty decent amount of space for the other two passengers on the sides. The headroom is also no problem at all. Just get to the front camera. Yes, so I am here in the back seat, and this is the amount of uh, headroom. And this is a pretty spacious cabin for such a compact car. The cabin width is also pretty nice. I can seat three people over here, no problem at all. There is also a center armrest on this top end model, which is also pretty wide, and the comfort is pretty good. The under thigh support is great. The headroom is also really good. Uh, even taller people can be comfortable over here and the uh, doors also open wide 90 degrees just like the Tata Altros so entry exit is also no problem it is going to be very easy and basically that's it about the rear seat cabin space of the Tata Punch